Hi guys, back in New York. Obviously, apologize for the sound because there's construction happening. We're on a little walk. Um, it's an 80 degree day, which makes coming back from Mexico a little easier because I just feel like I'm in the same sort of weather. I'm just obviously not by the ocean. Well, I mean, I technically am, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, we're just walking around. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Um, this is my outfit. Hold on, hold this. <laughs> my tripod. The dress is from, the dress is from Free People. Okay, we're gonna go to the grocery store and I'll see you later. Hi guys, happy, what is it today? Today is, oh my God, it's Thursday. I was so confident it was going to be a Wednesday. Um, how's everyone doing? Sorry, I haven't really been on the vlog much. Maybe I can set you up right here. <clears throat> I had full intentions of vlogging the bachelorette trip, but once I got there and I was just like enjoying my time with my friends, I quickly realized that vlogging was not gonna be in the cards for me. Way too many people, way too many like moving parts and there was music everywhere and I can't like, I can't vlog music on the channel or else my videos will get taken down. So I made an executive decision to just not. I kind of regret it now because I wish I had footage, but honestly, it's for the best that I didn't. I think I enjoyed myself way more only focusing on like a few TikToks here and there and getting some Instagram photos, which you can see on both platforms if you're not following me. Here you go, here's my, it's the same name on every platform. Um, but it was so, so much fun. I was telling my friends like I wish we could do a bachelorette trip every year. It was so much fun, I'm still recovering. It's Thursday, I got home on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, I was legitimately like unwell, so tired, still like, still hungover somewhat from like Saturday night. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it took a lot out of me. It was a lot of social interactions, <laughs> which like I'm used to and they're like my best friends and family. But like, honestly, I can't tell you the last time I went on like a, I, I don't know the last time I went on a trip with six girls and me, like it was, it was the best, but tiring in all of the best ways, if that makes sense. But the girls had fun, which was all that mattered i had fun which was also all that mattered and the fits were so good i wish i could do it again next week like three days at the beach is just not enough so i'm currently like scheming on how to get myself to miami for a weekend with jared just being like let's just go for a weekend because i love the beach that much but that's enough of my rambling i'm heading into williamsburg right now because i'm going to get a facial with glow bar I love glow bar. They're just so easy and quick. It's like a 20, 30 minute facial. I leave there looking plump and hydrated and that's all I could ever want. And it's like very quick. It's easy to get an appointment. It's not like some of these spas around New York where you can't get an appointment for like months at a time. Who want, who needs that? Who has time for that? So going to glow bar and then i'm gonna get ready quickly with you guys and head into the city to meet sarah and chase for a little shoot and then i have an event tonight fun things are happening this weekend which i will chat with you more about in a later clip but for now let's go into the city let's go get a facial and get our skin looking right because all of the cosmos i drink this weekend are like now appearing on my chin <laughs> The weather this morning is really reminding me of when I was a camp counselor, getting up in the morning when it would be like gray outside and then 80 degrees by noon. It's really bringing me back. Maybe it's like also the children that are at the playground right now that are making me feel this way, but I'm kind of living for this nostalgia. This is the location I'm going to today. This is my skin right after the facial. I just got home. She did some extractions on my chin because I did do a little bit of drinking this weekend and she was saying how like, if you're not a regular drinker, which I'm really not, I don't really like drink on the weekends or even like during the week, like I, I just don't really anymore. Um, so if you like 
kind of party hard and do a little bender, it can really fuck up your skin. And my skin has been so good lately until this weekend. So that's why your skin's acting out because you were drinking this weekend and like mixing drinks and like also like the sugary aspects of all of the mixers, etc. That can really like fuck up your skin. So had to get those extracted immediately. Oh, she also recommended, because my wedding is in July, like a month before to really stop drinking. If this is how my skin reacts now, and it's like not even that little bit, like I should really just like kind of stay away from alcohol for the month or so before the wedding. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because I really don't wanna have to deal with like any cover ups or, you know, intense breakouts and i'm gonna be stressed anyway so that's gonna bring on breakouts anyway so as much as i can do to minimize my skin freaking out before the wedding i will do oh my god quick pablo and Gigi break are you joking oh my god they're so cute pablo's fully embracing him that's really nice boys that's really nice so anyway, I'm gonna get ready to go out and shoot with Chase and Sarah, like I said earlier, and the weather has just gotten so stunning in the past hour or so. It was kinda chilly this morning, it was like 65, and now it's like 80, so I'm gonna put a little cute dress on, and I got a new pair of Chanel flats that I have to show you. I have been wanting this particular pair of flats for quite some time now, and I realized that they weren't sourced or weren't manufactured for the united states and a lot of times some designers or even just like not even luxury designers regular clothing lines will produce clothing for the u.s that's different from canada that's different from the uk and it just so happens that this one pair of flats i wanted so badly and they didn't make them for america to the best of my knowledge and they didn't make them for canada because i went to montreal when i went and saw noah khan and i went to i think it's holt and Frew, i think that's how you say it that like major like department store in canada so i went there and i asked her i was like do you have this pair and she was like no they weren't made for canada so as far as i know they weren't made for north america they were made for the uk and i reached out to a friend I reached out, oh, it's upside down and backwards. I reached out to one of my friends who got this particular pair of shoes in a different color sourced for her. And she was like, girlfriend, you have to look up this, this brand on Instagram because that's who I worked with. And let me pull it up. So I don't want to get the name incorrect for you. Red Styling. That is what they're called on Instagram. Thread Styling. I believe they're based in the UK, but they posted a reel this reel with all of these shoes and i was like oh i spy the ones that i want um so i dm'd them and within 12 hours the order was booked and then 24 hours later this showed up in the mail like i bought it i bought these shoes tuesday morning these showed up yesterday afternoon magic dhl Sometimes DHL is on their shit. Most of the time they're not, but this time DHL was looking out for me and I just have to show you, hold on. Balancing on a pillow right now because I don't have my tripod on me. So sorry about the view. Unboxing. How stunning are these? They're the baby blue flats. They're perfect. I really wanted these for my bridal shower as like my something blue. And I thought these would be a really cute slip on shoe, especially in the summertime. Like light blue is one of my favorite colors. And I wear a lot of denim and I figured like these would look so stinking cute with a pair of denim shorts or like white jeans. Like it's just, they're perfect. And they found them in my size. I typically in leather Chanel flats, I'm like a 37 and a half which is the equivalent to like a seven US. But because these aren't leather, I chose a 38 and I'm so happy because they fit perfectly. I think I might style them today with a, with a dress that I have and sort of like start breaking them in because <sighs> Chanel flats are not for the faint of heart. And uh, I definitely wanna break these in before I get any like serious blisters, especially for my bridal shower. So, I'm, I'm like literally so thrilled. I cannot believe how fast they came. 
shout out thread styling this is so not sponsored in any way shape or form but my friend Tarira was like you need to you need to reach out to them and within 24 hours they were at my doorstep from london so Bezos to thread styling that's enough yapping i'm gonna get ready and i will see you when i'm in the city with sarah and chase we're in the west village we're taking some photos right by the carrie bradshaw house which is right here everyone loves taking photos here but they have like gates and stuff that say please don't sit because people actually like live here but the girlies and i are taking some photos we just got some really cute videos and photos right here on this little step so now we're gonna go get some quick bites talk some shit absolutely <laughs> and enjoy the oh, rest yeah. of the day <laughs> yes completely they have they have a lot that's of that's like one of those things where like you hi guys i'm back i'm back at my apartment i had such a fun day with the girlies. I just opened a nice Diet Coke. Stunning. But I cut up a lemon. Like, I don't know what it is. I can't drink a Diet Coke without a lemon or like a little lime. It's just like not in the cards for me. I think it's because like when you go to a restaurant they're like do you want a lemon or lime or whatever in your drink and i always say yes and it's just so delicious that when i'm home and i have a diet coke i'm like wow i need to treat myself so i'm gonna put it in this little juicer a little treat truly i've had so much caffeine today i really don't need this but it's more of a want and i think that you should treat yourself no matter what <laughs> i've had two coffees and now this Diet Coke. I'm gonna save the rest of this lemon in the fridge. Taste test. It's perfect. And then I have a little leftover sandwich that I got at um, this place called Sogno Toscana. Sogno Toscana. It's right across the street from Fellini Coffee in the West Village. And I was like really full earlier. So I'm just having the other half right now because I'm kind of hungry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ever since I got masseter Botox, it is like a little hard to chew on chewy things. So like having this much filling and the bread, I just have to chew a little slower is really the problem and i'm a fast chewer like i like to eat quickly so it's kind of tough this is the inside it's got like prosciutto um parmesan parmigiano reggiano i think and then like little bits of truffle mushrooms to die for I missed your delivery from UPS and you might say wow Kelsey not a big deal like UPS will re-deliver it except there's like specific instructions on this because what I missed was my wedding dress so <laughs> I missed the delivery on my wedding dress but I was trying to get ahead of things. I had my noise canceling headphones editing this current vlog right now because I, I want it to go live tomorrow. Not that you need to know that, but I was editing, noise canceling. Jared has noise canceling in the office and um, I missed the delivery. <sighs> I tried to like reroute it on the UPS app. So we'll see if it gets delivered either later today or tomorrow, but Oh my god, I'm so stressed out. What's actually so funny is that I was wearing this exact same outfit in the last clip. I really need to get out more. <laughs> Something about me, if I'm wearing a sweatshirt, I wear it until it's like absolutely dirty. So like I'll wear this sweatshirt for another few days until I get some stains inevitably on the top or my sleeves or something. And then it's like, okay, now time to grab a new sweatshirt to fixate on for the week. This is a really old Sam Adams 
sweatshirt that I got from a PR event that I went to probably in like 2018. It's like one of my favorites. Other wedding related news, I'm waiting for my invitations to get delivered. The woman that I'm working with, her name is Heron. She is so incredibly talented. She helped me design my wedding invitations and she packaged them all up yesterday and they're in an Uber package waiting to get delivered today. Stamp them, send them on their way for people around the world to get. But I actually need to make sure that my wedding website is all correct because I actually need to do that first. Look how stinking cute. This cute! Is <laughs> This is what's on the thing. She like drew it on there. Wow. No, that's amazing. So cute. Wait, I need to take a quick Instagram photo. This is the process. Okay, okay. Oh my God. Okay, wait. It says, Dear Kelsey, thank you so much for trusting me with this iconic designs for an iconic gal. Excited for more to come from Heron. These are her, uh, I guess he's like, I would, I would consider these like business cards at this point, like little matchbooks, but this is her information. Oh! Good, how are you? Great. This is what I just after. Thanks, brother. K-O-T-C-U-R. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, this is my wedding dress. <laughs> Wow, my cheeks hurt from smiling. I think it's the Botox, okay. I don't know how to show you guys these. Wait, let me finish, let me finish showing you this. This is the back of her matchbook. So good. So follow her, underscore, I think it's underscore, underscore, like the bird, because her name is Heron, which is so cool. Okay, how do I show these without showing people's addresses? We decided to do these little pigeons on the envelopes so that we had like a little tie back to New York because we live in Brooklyn. And so this is this is Jared <laughs> as a pigeon. <laughs> focus. So cute with the little pizza. I have a little iced coffee and the sleeve says J and K. So cute. They came out so good. I love it. Didn't they come out? Yeah, great? it's amazing. <laughs> and then in between here are an address to a lucky member of our of our life that is allowed <laughs> to come to our wedding. <laughs> Putting all of these into the envelopes and then stamping them. And ah! then we can send the out. <laughs> it's it's uh it's it's totally us, you know? Yeah, no, it's so good. Also, like she did tie them all. I didn't do the tying. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amazing! I have been so inconsistent with this vlog. For that, I apologize. Last night was so fun. I went to an event with Aura Bella, who's Bella Hadid's new fragrance brand. And if you don't know, I'm an ambassador for Aura Bella, which is so fun, so cool. And so we went to a uh, like a a launch party last night, and it was so much fun, so beautiful, like. I'm not exactly sure who did the event space or who the event planner is or was, but stunning, like knocked it out of the park. So star studded. There were so many people there. Um, so I kind of got in my head. I had a little bit of imposter syndrome. I'm not going to lie. It happens to the best of us, I suppose. But today we are going to the pop-up. We got invited to hang out with Bella for a little bit before the, before the pop-up opens to the public which is so exciting. This is the outfit. I've been wearing a lot of sheer dresses and I'm, I don't know what to do about that. It just so happens that everything that I own is sheer. But this is a dress from Naya, N-I-A. So pretty. I was gonna wear this to my bachelorette, but it didn't come on time. So that's what we're gonna wear today because she, she wore something similar to like a, to a dinner or another event for Orabella, and so I figured it was on theme. I will take you along to the pop-up. I'm probably gonna meet Sarah beforehand because she is another ambassador, which is so nice to have someone that you know going into this because it can be kind of intimidating sometimes to like get content, take photos, like 
asking the PR people, like it's not their job to take photos for you. So it's really nice to have a girl and a friend who gets it, who will help me get the shot, get the content, get the videos. So I'll take you along. <laughs> So I just got back from the pop-up with Bella Hadid and honestly, what a fucking trip. That was so cool and so fun. I can't believe, I can't believe I get to do this. It was just like a pinch me moment for real. This is the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen, truly. Like stunning, gorgeous. I am, however, going to finish my coffee and I'm gonna end the vlog here and start up a new one for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'm so thankful for you being here. If you don't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you wanna see more, let me know what you wanna see from me in the future. I love you guys and I will see you next week.